Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here, welcoming you to some sponsored content for the Jump Gaming service. This is basically if Steam and Netflix had a baby. It is a monthly subscription service where you get access to all of these games. All the games they have on here are new games being added every month for a fee of $9.99. But if you want to try it out for yourself, you can head on over to either the link in the description or playonjump.com to get a two-week free trial and get access to, well, all the indie games you could ever want. And you can see here that, like I said before, new games are being added. These are the ones that are newly added. You can see on the homepage here that there are other games, like feature games, games that are gaining attention, and like a bunch of uh, different, different genres for them. But let's say you wanted to like, I don't know, search for like a specific genre. This is probably my favorite feature because it kind of gives you like, you can kind of be like, oh, I'm feeling like playing a uh, puzzle game. So you click on puzzle, boom, all the puzzle games show up. Or playing an RPG, boom, all the RPGs come up. You can also sort it by local multiplayer, online multiplayer, single player games. Uh, just as a uh, starter there. On top of that, if you highlight over any of the games, you can see more info on the game. So let's say for 8-Bit Fiesta, Jesus, uh, you can see what kinds of genre the game is, as well as who developed it, the publisher, what inputs it supports, what OS you could play it on. Uh, this app is available on Windows and Mac, and you can access it from a browser on Linux and Chrome OS. It's as well as a, uh, you can see a description for the game as well. So let's head back to browse here. If we highlight over again, you can see there's a little heart on the bottom there. Well, if you heart a game, hit the heart, you head over to favorites, boom, you can see that I favorited the game, 6180 uh, The Moon. So yeah, I just showed off the favorites bit of it. So yeah, you could favor games if you uh, see games that you like. Or if it was a specific game you want to see if is on here, you can search it. I want to see if Typo Man is up here. Oh, it is. And it also, speaking of Typo Man, it accommodates for Typo. So I typed in type, like type with an E, and it still came up with Typo Man. Because it was close enough. And maybe like, you know, maybe your 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 fiddly fingers aren't, aren't as, uh, as dexterous as some others. So it's just a little way to save you a few keystrokes there in case you missed type. Also, see what games you've been playing recently. I've been playing Tesla Grad, Diaries of a Spaceport Janner, The End is Nigh, all those types of games. And they are pretty neat. Uh, the way it kind of goes about downloading the games is pretty neat. It downloads, it, it caches the uh, the um, the games like as you hit, like start to play the game. I'll just show an example here with, say, Lethal League. So you can see on the bottom it is loading. It is only loading the assets that it absolutely needs at the moment. And it's also going to be downloading it rather uh, rather quickly, as you know. So it just needs those specific assets for that moment. And any assets that, that it will need will be downloaded in the background, like, immediately. So as you can see, we're already loaded up. It's been, like, five seconds since I started. And my internet is not really the best. So let's head back to home here. So yeah, like I said before, if you want to try this out yourself, check out the link in the description or head over to playonjump.com. And check this out for yourself. You get a uh, two-week free trial for signing up. And you have access to all these indie games with new games being added every month. So let's jump into our next game, Mole Men Must Die. I, uh, I haven't actually played this one yet. So let's see how it goes. As you can see, the, uh, as you can see here again, the games take less than a minute to download. Uh oh, he slapped the president. Oh boy. Whoa! I didn't even see the tutorial. One hit equals one death, and the mole men are coming. Oh god. Jesus! So I just realized they're basically Monty moles. Oh god! I can't aim up either. Oh. They run around like Monty Moles anyway. Oh! This is insane! Oh! Armor over here! I got a rocket launcher. I don't know how, even though I had to switch weapons, I jumped in here before I was able to, to see what I could do. Oh god, okay. Uh. 
Do I have to destroy the nuclear device? Like, what's going on here? New level minigun unlocked. Oh! I ran out of my rocket launcher. This is insert. There are so many moles on this nuclear device. Do I have to protect it on the way down? What? Stay with bomb. I'm trying to stay with bomb. I am dead. I thought I had armor. Twice as many enemies. Good job. You beat Flame Frogger's score. I don't know who that is. They're on Twitter. All right, well, that didn't go well. So revenge is a dish best served mole. Yeah, get the experience. They're coming! Up, oh, that was a very quick round. You can only aim side to side too. Explosive weapons. I don't know what's happening here. Do you unlock uh, like abilities and detriments every time you die? Once you reach a milestone door, a giant bomb will drop from the surface, blasting it open. I'm ranked 39 on the on the list here, and I still don't know what all the controls are. All right. So apparently the moles disgraced America and now they're plotting revenge. That's what I've gotten out of this so far. Machine gun. Oh, I'm too far away from the bomb. There are so many moles on bomb. There's also a lot of these spinning platforms and I am dead. I don't know how I died, but I am the dead. Fire in both directions? Hmm. I gotta beat my high score, man. Weapons can be affected by powers like heavy bullets, ricochets, or double fire. Well, now I've got the ability to fire in both directions. Oh, I see. So yeah, they are they are basically like buffs and, and detriments as you go on. So I don't think there's actually an end to this game. It seems very much of the mind that uh, eventually all mole men will die. Oh, but I feel like I'm, I'm burning the candle at both ends here. I've un I, I, oh, dang it. They gave me the homing launcher. I was trying to use the machine gun. Half as much enemies. Well, that'll make things easier. I don't think the score will go up as much because of that. Watch your step. Don't take, you don't take fall damage, but if you fall too far from the bomb, it's game over. Like that. Just like that. I got a score of zero for that one. Flames never burn out. I guess it could be good or bad if I get a flamethrower. All right, let's give this one more world record attempt here. Or not world record, but uh, beat my beat my old record for, for, for shits and giggles. <clears throat> the, the goal, insult president. I feel like this game was probably in development before Trumby. Machine gun? Ma machine gun! Aha! Machine for guns! So the bomb seems to also have a health bar. I got armor! Ah, 
I have a homing launcher. So I was right. It does seem to burn the the sort of sort of like burn the candle at both ends with the uh, by having bolts fire in both directions. Honestly, not a big fan of the homing gun or homing rocket. The minigun, on the other hand. Oh, good golly goodness. See, the minigun probably would have been better if I just didn't have a ton of stuff that was... Oh, not the rocket launcher. I don't think the rocket launcher was a good idea. I thought I fell past the bomb. All right. Well, I beat my depth record. But not my score yet. We're getting there, though. I'm thinking if I keep this moving... Ooh, there are things here with guns. I got Oh, I got another rocket launcher. You know, that thing I didn't want. Oh, I've got a double jump. I didn't even realize that. Oh yeah, I've broken my record. I have very much broken my record. I don't know what gun that is, but I don't know if I want it. Oh, it's the minigun. Come, come, come. Ooh, some of these guys got guns now. They've got they've got their own firearms. Oh, ooh, okay. I don't know if I still have my armor or not. I don't like the rocket launcher. I mean, it's good for clearing off the uh, the moles, but still. I prefer if it wasn't. Oh, I can see how much ammo I actually have left in the, the rocket launcher as well. And come on. Bip, bip. Alert. There's a drill. Your points almost seem to go up exponentially at some points. Face toward peace. There's another drill approaching. Incoming drill. Ooh, that was close. I think I actually did take a take a hit there. Okay, well I've definitely beaten my record. Uh There we go. Got rid of the drill before it hit the, the bomb. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, yeah, you kind of gain points exponentially in this. Oh, no. Machine gun. Okay. Stop. Stop clawing at our bomb. Come now. No. Oh, well, I did get a lot of points there. Let's see what that puts me at for rank. Bombs destroy platforms. I got a new high score. I am now rank 16! I wonder what the rank number one guy is in the leaderboard here. Let's check that before we before we end off. This video went a lot longer than I intended it to. Uh, it won't let me show it won't show me anything on the leaderboard, but uh, number eleven has tw uh, two hundred and ninety-one thousand points, so that's probably a pretty good uh indicator of uh, of what the number one guy is like. Anyway. That was Mole Men Must Die as part of the uh, Jump Gaming application there. If you want to start your free trial, link in the description or just go to playonjump.com. Uh, get your two-week trial to access all the indie games you want with new games being added every month.